Welcome back. Are you ready to keep building your robotics educational empire? In previous episodes, you achieved the following things. First, you decided the subject of your educational business and decided the name of it. Second, you created the first course based on video lessons and rush checks. Third, you uploaded the course to an educational platform and started receiving payments from students. In this episode, we are going to build something critical for your online teaching business, your online headquarters. Your online headquarters is more than just a website. It's the center place where you will connect with your audience. And also, more important, you will start building your mailing list. Here is why your online headquarters is so important. One, for doing your courses promotion. While Udemy promotes your course, its promotion is limited and you are competing with many other educators on the same platform. Your own website, instead, will be the one that does the marketing for you and only for you. Second, is for building a mailing list. And this is key. The students on Udemy aren't technically yours. They are Udemy's students. Udemy handles their emails and details, so you can contact them directly with new promotions or events without going through Udemy. If you want to be independent, you need your own way to directly contact your audience. That is achieved by building a list of emails of people interested in what you teach. A mailing list lets you share updates, announce new courses, or even offer exclusive content. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up your domain and install a first version of your headquarters. On the next video, we will learn how to build the mailing list. So let's go and build your headquarters. Step 1. Decide a domain name for your academy. Based on the name of the academy that you selected on video 2, decide an internet domain name for your academy. That is the address that people will type to go to your headquarters. When selecting the domain name, try to match the name of your academy. But if the domain has been already taken, then be creative and figure it out a modification. For example, in my case, I'm picking the domain name www.buildyoureducationalempire.com Step 2. Register your domain name. You can use hosting services like Bluehost, GoDaddy, or SiteGround. If you are on a budget, Bluehost's basic plan, like it's around $249 per month, it's a great starting point. Let me remind you that I have no affiliation with Bluehost or any other hosting service. Step 3. Install and set up WordPress. Once your domain is registered, you need to install WordPress on that domain. WordPress is a software that allows you to create the landing page of your headquarters and also include a blog on it. This is going to be very important for your marketing and promotion. Many hosting providers, like the ones I recommended above, offer a simple one-click installation. If your hosting provider doesn't provide a WordPress easy installation, follow this tutorial for a manual installation. Step 4. Configure your website. Now, it is time to set up your website. Start by setting the following two. First, a landing page. This is the first thing that visitors will see when they visit your domain. It should clearly explain who you are and what you are offering. And second, a blog. You will have to write articles about your niche to drive traffic from Google. For example, if you teach robotics, write posts like top five robotics projects for beginners or why to learn ROS in 2025. Actually, those are very good titles, so let me write them on my blog. The hosting provider will likely provide a simple way to set all this. Check their documentation. Otherwise, you can go to the manual setup following the guide I suggested before. It is more work, though it will allow you to configure the WordPress site as you want. Step 5. Customize your website's look. Your website doesn't need to be perfect right away. Stick with the default design for now if it is functional and clear. You can always refine it later as your academy grows. 
you can use a tool like Canva.com to design an initial logo that you can use for your headquarters. Don't need to spend much time or effort on that, just some simple automatic logo based on templates will work. Also, you can dedicate some time to modify a little bit the initial page of the headquarters to show the relevant information that you want your visitors to see. For example, Include a description of the course you created and a link to it in Udemy so people visiting your website will be redirected to, to taking your course. Step 6. Test your website. Once everything is set up, test your website by typing your domain in a browser. It should show the landing page you configured. If it loads correctly, congratulations! You now have an online headquarters. Excellent. We have covered a lot of material here. So you have created your academy, you created the first course, then you upload it into an educational platform to provide to students, and now you have a headquarters where you can promote your courses and attract more people to your courses. In the next episode, we'll take this one step further. I will show you how to configure your website to collect email addresses so you can build your mailing list. Let's keep building your educational empire. And by the way, I am Ricardo Tella, the CEO of the Construct Robotics Institute, the biggest online academy teaching robotics and ROS of the world.